Well, as moms, we know that our our job is never truly over, right? Like our objective is to raise adults who are amazing adults, right? And to train and to raise kids so that they are independent and good, kind-hearted, hard-working people. That is our goal, right? So I've got nine kids, three are adults now, which leaves six who are not. And my youngest is currently six. So I know right now the, the young mom struggle as well. So in fact, I've been a mom with a young one for more than 23 years now. I guess that makes me young. But since I'm turning 50 in a couple of months, yes, I just said that out loud, I'm certainly a midlife mom as well. And so with one who has already left the nest, one who is currently traveling overseas, and one who is starting work to work on his actual career, my role as a mom to these older ones sure is different from being a mom to them when they were younger. And so, in fact, I have found it so surprising just how hard it is for us as moms when our kids start needing us less. And this happens long before they ever actually leave the nest. Midlife moms, this one is for you. Let's talk about it. Well, hey there, I am Jennifer Roskamp, a certified life coach and homeschool mom of nine who is passionate about helping women just like you embrace the here and now while also being focused on creating the life you actually want. In reality, it's not about thinking life will get so much better or so much easier when you fill in the blank. Let's work on creating a life you love now. So let's dive in and get started on redefining Supermom to be someone who is present, intentional, and content rather than perfect in our homes, in our lives, and in our own skin. Let's get started. This is the Intentional Mom Podcast. Okay, so if you're listening and you're like, I'm not a midlife mom, it's okay. There is still going to be things here that you walk away with. You still want to be tuning in because we're going to be talking about, really, we're going to be talking about mindset control. We're going to be talking about how to control our own minds so that we are experiencing the joy, the happiness, the contentment, all of the things we actually want to feel. You're going to walk away with tools that will help you do that. So, so I've got these nine kids and yes, three are adults. And um, I know firsthand then what it is like when these kids start getting more independence and when they start relying on you less. And this is a good thing, but it's also a hard thing. So it really starts happening, right? When they start looking to friends more than they do to us as their moms. It happens when they get to do big kid things like get jobs, drive a car, maybe get into relationships, and take us along with them when they visit colleges, right? So if you're a mom who is in this phase of life, I hear you, I see you, I feel you. If you're a mom over 40 or 50, and if you're, and if you're not this mom right now, again, just blink your eyes one time, maybe two and you will be this midlife mom. So let's see if you share a similar story to the one I'm about to tell you. This is story time with Jennifer, okay? So you're sitting down for dinner alone again. Your husband will eat out his own when he gets home from work later. But for now, the house is quiet. So quiet all the time. Quiet. This is really becoming your new normal. This is your new normal. You thought your kids would be home for dinner, but now that they're teens and young adults, they're always changing their plans, often at the last minute. So as you're sitting there picking at your daughter's favorite dish because you were hoping she'd be here, you find your mind wandering back to when the kids were younger and what you wouldn't have given to enjoy a meal in peace, a meal just like this one. If only I know then what I know now, you mutter to yourself. You thought parenting older kids was going to be easier than those frantic young mom days, but it's way harder than you thought. You've traded in your mom taxi hat for the hat that often makes you the sounding board for all of those emotions that your kids are struggling to figure out. Since you're the safe place, you're often the one they lash out at. You know they love you, but man, do they have to be so unreasonable and mean. And it's really, it's not even just parenting older kids that you struggle with. It's figuring out how to manage yourself. Because for years, you poured yourself into caring for your home and family. And even back when you worked, you had it together so much more than you do now. Why on earth did you get more done when you had so many more responsibilities and demands than you do now? 
But figuring out how to be motivated to do anything when you've got no energy, no focus, and no idea who you even are or what you want is so hard. If you're being honest, you're just lost. You just want to be happy, but you have no idea what that would look like or how you would find it in this new phase of life. You wake up every single day with the best of intentions. Today is going to be the day that you feel motivated and energized to get some of the things done you've been putting off and maybe even do a few things that actually matter to you. Today is going to be your fresh start. But you know how it will end because every day always ends the same. You waste a bunch of time, you feel frustrated that you've let things get this far, and you just want to somehow escape from it all. If only someone could tell you how to fix the emptiness you feel in the pit of your stomach and actually get something, anything done most days. Who ever thought that doing nothing could be so exhausting? So what could you do in the next five days to get out of the backseat where life happens to you and into the driver's seat where you decide who you are and where you're going? Here are the five things I've got for you today. Number one, find yourself. Rediscover yourself. Ask yourself who you are and what you want to be. Make, choose to make this your line in the sand moment when you decide that you're not going to sit back and just go along for the ride anymore. You are going to find your purpose and even your joy again. Make that decision right now. That's number one. Number two, stop neglecting yourself. We moms are so good at this, but what we don't realize is that number one, we suffer, right? And we take others along with us. Often the ones we're trying to do it all for are the ones that pay the highest price right alongside us when we're neglecting ourselves for too long. Number two, the things we do suffer. When we are limping along at best, it affects everything we do. Number three, life is full of seasons. Some seasons demand more from us in terms of all of the have to things. But we have to, at some point, swing the pendulum back the other way in order to live the life that we want. So number two is all about the need to stop neglecting yourself. Number three, understand yourself. Know that you can always control one thing in any circumstance or reality or result that you're currently getting. What is that one thing? You can always control yourself. And so you need to learn how to unpack the thoughts and feelings that you're experiencing and learn how to choose the ones you want. And that is all part of step number three, understanding yourself. The fourth thing to do is to know your resistance. As humans, we don't like to fail. We don't like to be wrong. And we don't like to be disappointed in or frustrated with ourselves. So often we struggle to do things. We avoid things, especially when they feel hard. But when you know what things and what things about these things are going to be the things you struggle with, you can offset that struggle before it happens. You have to know your resistance. You have to know the different things that you're going to struggle with and how you're going to struggle with them so that when you know that ahead of time, you can head it off at the pass. But really, it starts with knowing what's coming so that you can overcome the things that have been keeping you stuck for years. You know what the arguments are you have with yourself. You know the excuses and the justifications and all the reasons why that you give yourself to do or not do things. Many of the things that you're trying to do today are things that you have been trying to do for much, much longer than just today. How often have you tried to start any habit? How often have you tried to start over in something? Probably a lot. We all are like that with as humans. But we don't want to stay stuck anymore. And so it starts with understanding why you're struggling to do something, why you're struggling to start that new habit, why you're struggling to stop that habit that you want to stop. You have to know how to uncover 
your resistance so that you can overcome the excuses and the justifications. But it comes with knowing what those are first. You have to be able to identify them so that you've got your action plan to annihilate them when they come your way. It starts with the knowing. It starts with knowing your resistance. And the fifth step you need to take is to be realistic. If you want to finally move forward, you've got to be realistic. Unrealistic, perfectionistic expectations trip us up so much of the time. Setting yourself up to take action and implement in a realistic way and armed with systems and processes and plenty of mantras is the best way to actually uncover and rediscover who you are and where you're going. How do you want to spend your time? So this five-step process, finding yourself, putting an end to neglecting yourself, understanding yourself, knowing your resistance so that you can annihilate it when it comes, and being realistic when you assign yourself things to do. These are all so important things. And these are things that in just five days, I am going to be helping women just like you figure out. I do that in my Write a New Chapter Challenge. We start with working on your dream circle. And from there, we talk about finding harmony, not so much finding balance, but finding harmony between your primary power buckets, which are home, work, and that doesn't necessarily mean get paid for at work, but home, work, self-care, and relationships. Those are the four power buckets that we talk about. And then the remaining three days in the challenge are all about learning ways to take back control of even the hard and out of control things in your life. Because again, you can always control yourself in these situations. Write a new chapter. The write a new chapter challenge is here to help you learn, but also to give you the confidence, the support, the encouragement, and the community to make lasting changes in your life. Women don't realize how long they've been along for the ride in their lives. They want things like joy, contentment, and calm. And they also want to feel organized, in better health, and happier in the relationships. And if you've never worked with a life coach, that's what I am. If you've never worked with a life coach, we are 100% focused on looking forward with a what can I do mindset. And a couple of other mantras we also love are, nothing has gone wrong. This is just new information. When things happen, this, it's like this alert alarm goes off and we say, oh my gosh, danger, danger, problem, problem. And when we feel like something has gone wrong, that keeps us from being able to move forward. So one of our favorite mantras in our coaching community, it's called a Catholic Lifestyle. One of our favorite mantras is nothing has gone wrong. This is just new information. Another one of our favorites. So, so I've shared two favorites so far. I've said, what can I do? Right? That is a mantra. What can I do? Right? Sometimes it's not, what should I do? What do I need to do? Sometimes it's, what can I do? And then the second one is, nothing has gone wrong. This is just new information. And the third mantra is, I will figure this out. How many times in your life can you use that one? Your life is anything like mine, probably a lot. I will figure this out. And so with the Write a New Chapter Challenge starting live next week, this is your chance to get your life back on track with a life coach to walk alongside you for 14 days free. So you've got more than enough time to work through all five days in the challenge. It's happening live, but it will also have replays. And it is 100% free to join for 14 days in my coaching community. That's where the challenge takes place. It's a challenge I give to my coaching clients, but I invite you to join us as well. The only thing you will have to cover is a $7 challenge workbook. What we do every day in the challenge comes straight out of the work. That is the only thing you will need to cover. You can have the challenge for free. You can have 14 days in the coaching community free. All of that is there for you. So make sure that you head to writeanewchapter.com to come alongside us. Again, we start Monday, June 24. If you're feeling lost, if you're feeling confused, if you're feeling like 
man, I just feel kind of numb. Where is my joy? Where is my happiness? What is my purpose, especially in this phase of life? This is going to be a challenge that you simply cannot afford to miss. So make sure you are signed up and coming along with us. Writeanewchapter.com is where you're going to go. That's what I've got for you today, Mama. It is going to be okay. I promise. We are in it and we are in it together. But we are going to get you to the point where you are back in the driver's seat and you are deciding who you are and where you want to go. That's what we are all about. Come join us. I can't wait to see you on the inside. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye. I hope that you are excited about this challenge. This challenge has so, it has changed so many lives. It's been around for about three months. I've taught it live once before. And the thing that makes it so powerful is that so often we just focus on trying to manage all of the things, but really what we need to manage is the person who manages all those things. And who is that? Well, that's you. And so that is why this challenge is 100% focused on you. Because when you are a healthier you, when you are a happier you, everything in everyone that you have touch points with, everyone in everything that you come into contact with throughout the day, it becomes a more positive interaction. You start showing up as the person you actually want to be in your relationships, in your home, in your work. and in your overall life. And that is what we are all about. Make sure you've joined us for the challenge. Again, you can do that at writeanewchapter.com. If you're listening to this podcast and it is no longer a live challenge, it is still a challenge that you can join with Replace. Make sure you go to writeanewchapter.com and you can join there any time of the year. Mamas, we got this. We're in it together. Let's do it.